My name is Pule, and uh, this is my review of the Canon EOS R6. If you're watching this and if you are a wedding videographer, this review will probably help you with your decisions whether to buy the EOS R6 or not. Canon EOS R6, it sucks. Honestly, it sucks. I've, I bought the camera and I filmed four or five weddings with it. Um, the very first wedding I filmed using that camera, um, it overheated on me. The camera would have been just sitting uh, like in the standby mode, and then it overheated. If the camera feature says that you, that it, it can shoot in 4K, whether that be a 24 frame per second or 30 frames per second or 60 frames per second, it does not matter if it if it stated that you that you can shoot in 4K in any of those frames. What is the point of having those if you can't use the camera in its full in its full potential? You know. So I watch a lot of reviews on YouTube and then you know because I have I have two Canon ESRs. Those cameras are great. I love the the Canon ESRs. And then because I saw other reviews regarding the overheating issues, so I went ahead and research a little bit more, watch a bunch of other YouTube videos regarding of how to overcome these issues. And most of the reviews say that if you use the Atomos Ninja 5 with the V-mount battery, that you will be able to, um, to overcome the overheating issues. Well, yeah. it turned out that it's not true. It does not overcome the o overheating issue if you shoot in 4K. And it does not matter whether that be 24 frames per second or 30 frames per second or 60 frames per second in 4K mode, that camera will overheat. It will overheat. So my suggestion is to, if, you, if you're watching this and if you are a uh, wedding videographer and you like to shoot in 4K mode, you know, up to 60 frames per second or more than that, I will suggest to buy something else like the A7S 3s or uh, the Canon EOS R5C that just came out. So what I did, I don't have the camera here with me, but I'll show some footage of uh, the weddings I shot with it. And one particular wedding, I actually took a, a little video on my phone of when the camera overheated on me. Yeah. I already sold the camera on Monday, I think. Monday I sold, yeah, Monday I sold the camera. I filmed a wedding on Friday and Saturday and both those weddings, the camera overheated. So I had to shot in the 1080p, um, which, it's, it turned out okay, but I, I, I wanted the camera to perform with the features that it stated that the camera can, can use, you know? So I went ahead and sold the camera because I'm like, I'm not going to uh, keep this camera. Weddings are a very important event to the couple, the wedding couple. And uh, the moments that you, you get to capture during the wedding, uh, these moments are very special to the couple. And these moments cannot be repeated. It, once the uh, the bride walks down the aisle, that you cannot repeat that. And if the camera overheated on you on that time, and like during that time, it's it sucks. You won't be able to capture all the footage. Um, lucky it didn't happen to me because I have my Canon EOS R's, which were I always had one. I always had one on the gimbal as a backup with the Canon EOS R6 on the on the rig. Yeah, my point is I'm trying to get across this from a wedding videographer's point of view and an unbiased review of this camera, I will say um, it's not good for uh, wedding videography um, unless you want to shoot in 1080. Uh, but if you want to use the camera to its full potential, which is shoot in 4K, uh, the camera will overheat on you, whether that be without a rig or recording externally to an Atomos Ninja 5 it will still overheat on you. So just uh, that's my opinion and that's from my experience as a, as a wedding, uh, wedding videographer. Um, so yeah, go make better decisions and buy something better. Adios.